Hey Nick class, this is the Tank Commander Street Pack. I am making a series of videos to help you guys um, in addition to what we've already learned in class, just trying to reinforce some of the processes that we've been learning. Uh, this video is for chapter two, and it's going to be plotting a course and getting the distance. So uh, this one's um, one of my more fun things I like to do um, because and it's also very applicable in reality. Um, so what we're going to do is get the um, we're going to get the true course and distance between uh, Huntsville Municipal to Groveton Trinity. That's what we're going to do for this example. So um, you can do uh, measure distance first or measure course first. It doesn't matter. Um, but um, what I like to do is kind of both at the same time. This is how you do it. So first things first, you need to use your divider. Divider is used for the primary purpose of your divider is to measure your distance, right? Um, but it's also very good. Uh, the divider is very good for holding a course as well to help your plotter um, stay on the course line. And uh, you see what I mean here. So when I drop my plotter down to measure this course, um, it's very easy. If I don't have these dividers down on these two points, for this line to slip off. You know, this, this line's gonna will go somewhere else besides these two points. It'll go left or right. Um, so by putting the divider down on the two points, you're kind of securing that that course, which is great. You want that um, because when you move the divider or the plotter around, it's gonna it's gonna change. It's not gonna stay in the same place. Like it, right even right now as I'm moving it across, like it's not wanting to stay on both points. So it's just helpful to have those dividers down on those two points. You can do it. Um, that may not always be uh, you. You may not always be able to do that. Um, but this is a situation where you can. So the, the distance between these two points is not too long, where you can't, uh, where you, you know, you can't keep both points on the two points. So um, if that was the case, what you could do is um, just draw your line first uh, between the two points, uh, and then do the best you can um, to, you know, basically you could, you can um, use your dividers on that line itself. So here, this is the example. I'm sorry to take kind of pause for a second, but but say like my my line was from Huntsville. Try to zoom out a little bit, but um, here we go. Cool. So say I was uh, going from Huntsville to like all the way to Lufkin, like maybe this point here, uh, One Eye Creek. Okay, so um, move them out. I can still make it. Okay, well, say if it was further, say it was like Hubbard. So there's an airfield all the way at the top. Um, I put my first point down on Huntsville and, and I pulled out my divider as far as I can. I can't get there. Okay, so that would be a situation where I can't use my dividers uh, to mark both points. But um, what you can do is you go ahead and draw your two, draw your line first. Okay. So I would, you know, mark Hubbard, then when I draw my line, when that's drawn, what I can do is I put my divider, um, I can measure, first off, um, if you, you want to get the distance between those two things, you do what's called a leapfrog. So you put your point down on, uh, on your reference line, so two longitude lines, so you get 30 minutes. Okay, so this is a known value. You know that uh, between two um, lines of latitude, uh, those two main lines of latitude, it's 30 minutes or 30 nautical miles. And so you can put it, you leapfrog it by putting the first point on Huntsville, and then you would just start walking it across like this. Go back over here, and actually, it's almost another 30, it's just a little less than that. So, then you just mark off what that new point is, so you just put your point down on there, and then and then measure that. So, go to the line of 
an intersection with line of latitude and longitude, and then put it down. Oh, okay, it's 29.5. So it's almost 30 minutes right there. Cool. So that's how you do that. Um, so that's if it's longer than the length of your dividers. In this situation, it's not. So we're just going to go ahead and measure the distance now. I'll go ahead and do that. So I did that. Got my two points, measuring it out. Look at that, it's like the same. That's crazy. I'm doing that again. Hold on. All right. Measuring it again. Yeah, like 30, 30 minutes. 29 and a half to 30 minutes, something like that. So I'm going to go round it up to 30 minutes or 30 nautical miles. We have a 30 nautical mile uh, leg. And then I'm just going to put my points back down. And then I put my plotter down. This is the part that a lot of people get confused. I was like, what do I do? So what I look at is first off is what is my general direction from Huntsville to Garota? Uh Well, it's northeast, right? Because you're going from here up to here. That's a northeast direction. So that's the first thing. Second thing is um, what do I do once I, you know, have my plotter here and I'm just moving it back and forth? Well, okay, so we have this thing called a grommet, this little hole here. This little hole here needs to line up on a line of longitude, okay? So now that I got it on the line of longitude, you see that? It's intersected. Um, if you can't see it, uh, if you go up here, here's my line of longitude. And I can just follow it all the way down. And there it is, the intersection. And it goes, keeps going, right? So there's my intersection, right? And then you just follow it up. Follow it all the way up to the top, okay? And then you look at your scales and find your northeast scale. So northeast is anything between 0 and um, 90 degrees. And so here's 0 over here, and here's 90 on the top scale. So this is the scale I'm going to use, the top one. Now I'm also going to bracket. Bracket means you look at one number here, the closest number, and then you look at the other closest number, which is 40. So between 40 and 50 is where my number is, okay? The reason why you do bracketing is because it doesn't you don't count up going clockwise. You actually count down going clockwise. That's not normal, right? That's not how we normally count, like on a clock. So it's, it's a counterclockwise is how you count. Um, so uh, we're going to count down from 50. Um, so it's 49, 48, maybe 47. Let me just double check and make sure the intersection is correct. That might be better. And that gives me um, 47 degrees of uh, true course. Okay, so true course, 47 degrees. And we had a distance of 30 nautical miles. That's essentially all you need to know for, uh, for this, course and distance. Um, and that's that's part of your jet log too. So you kind of have that squared away uh, for that first section of your jet log when you're trying to find your courses and distances. I hope you guys are um, doing okay on this. Please do the homework. You got to do the homework to get better at that. Um, if you do all the homework, you'll be good at this stuff. So, all right. I hope this video did some good for you, and um, and feel free to review the rest. Talk to you soon.